A muted closing is what I would call it. Throughout the session, it was sideways trade because of the restricted move. We had the Bank Nifty weekly options contracts expiring today. So Sensex closing with cuts of almost 44 points. Nifty above the level of 400. So 10,430 is the mark where Nifty will be closing for the day. And Bank Nifty, where the support was around the mark of 25,500. So that was held during the session. So the expiry is taking place with cuts of almost 50 points. But a clear out performance that one has seen not today uh, in the last three to four sessions from the broader markets the nifty mid cap free float index up one percent the small cap index saw gains of almost a percent and a half in even the bsc mid cap index was up almost 130 points for the day let's also look at sensex constituents then and see which were the stock which contributed on the upside or downside let me start off with the gainers the heavyweight lnt was up and about that stock saw gains of closer to three percent uh, the auto stocks have been buzzing so Hero Motor Corp has been up in the last few sessions. Today also it saw gains of a percent and a half. Tata Steel, which fell yesterday, post the news of its expansion plan, saw some uh, sort of buying coming back, so one and a half percent higher there. And from the biggies, you had Infosys, HDFC, which are closing the day at least in the green. But on the losing side, uh, your heavyweight HDFC bank had a muted closing, I would call it, and Kotak Mahindra Bank and ITC2 are having a closing in the red. Looks like a couple of your banking counters is ICICI Bank and SPI, both of them uh, are your heavyweights that also closed. Just I, I would call it the losses, but also capped today. Reliance Industries, Bharti, and MM, where you're seeing major amount of losses, but that's actually on account of uh, the share going X bonus today. And Maruti, HUL, Bajaj Auto, Indusind Bharti were a couple of the other losers for the day, Pradeep. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the interesting sectors in mid-cap space. Textile is one where we saw Garden Silk, Nahar Spinning, Moraji Textiles doing well on the back of government's announcement of a 1250-100 crore fund for skill development in the textile sector. So these were some of the beneficiaries on that theme. The other key sector I would call was paper that actually moved up on the back of a successful IPO coming out in the sector where we saw 242%. Uh, subscription in Estron paper and uh, some of the gainers in this space were West Coast and also Star Paper among the small cap ones. Uh, we also had a lot of action in construction infrastructure companies. Madhukon project is one in the small cap space that has moved up today with significantly high volume. So that's one stock to watch out for. We talked about several other stocks earlier in the show. Uh, Adani Transmission and Reliance Infra. Uh, these two stocks were in focus, especially in the last hour of trade after announcement of that uh, deal for Mumbai Power Business. And Westcon Engineering was a key performer in today's trade as well. It was up by around 14-15% uh, at one point, closing the day uh, with gains of 13 and a half, so not bad. Pincon Spirits was a key loser and we have seen correction in this stock as SEBI is now looking for a, a forensic audit of this company. So this stock has remained volatile, has remained in news for all the wrong reasons and the trend continues just like that. Neeraj. It just doesn't recover Pincon Spirits, does it? But this is the final tally on, on the markets, on the bourses today, 10, 4 to 8. The mid caps and the small caps have done better and therefore the market breadth, the advanced decline ratio will look a lot better. I think, I think 3 is to 2 if I'm not wrong, the last time that I checked was the market breadth and actually 2 is to 1, so in favour of the advances. So the market breadth has remained fairly favourable on the National Stock Exchange. And now, bring up the contributors list and Larson and Tubro, I reckon, would be amongst the top contributors. HDFC, a small bit, and Infosys and HCL Tech. I was speaking about how technology seems to be contributing today and uh, it's put, played its part. Not too many spots. Reliance, even though it's down, uh, contributing on top, contributor on the downside, or Maruti is the top contributor on the losing side. We haven't seen large moves from these players. If at all, we've seen a large move from Mahindra and Mahindra and thereby. That is also featuring in amongst the top contributors despite not being a key heavyweight. And the Nifty 50 heat map will show you that there is a fair bit of green, even though not as much as what the mid caps have, but there is a fair bit of green on the screen. And as we said, technologies participated to an extent, some oil and gas names like Gale, etc., have participated. Uh, and not too many losers, m and and then it's a slew of non-heavy names uh, which are really putting in, uh, except Bharti Airtel which is down about a percent. So, not a bad day of trade. Uh, yes, you could argue that we could have done better 
than being in the flat uh, moves that we've had. But look at the broader markets and it looks a completely different picture. And that's what you want. The index not correcting. If you're a bull, you don't want the index to be correcting too much. And then your set of stocks or the broader market stocks on news or otherwise flying around as we've seen today with Adani, with Shelly, with Reliance Infra and a clutch of other names. Uh, anyways, final thoughts from our experts. Vishwesh, uh, how does this set us up for tomorrow, which is uh, the day before a long weekend? What would your positioning be? And what's your positioning for the rest of the series as well? See, I think Neeraj very uh, nicely, you know, poised for the up move. But my sense is that you are now stuck at the level which is around, you know, double top or, you know, uh, options resistant 10,500. On top of that, the broader market is moving. So if I am a large investor and I was worried about a Gujarat election, that is past. And now I'm focusing on my core portfolio and probably I'm happy with the way it is going. So index is probably going to be the all only the theta decay game. So what we have been suggesting and what we are deciphering from the data is that you short sell one strike lower straddle so that gives you cushion till 10,500 also in that case you know when we started the show around 206 210 10,000 straddle was called 10,300 straddle was costing which is right now close at 194 so my guess is that this even if there is a 50 point or a 70 point you know pullback in a nifty it would be very healthy and from that perspective this straddle will make a lot of money so stay long in the mid cap stay long in the you know, infra stocks but at the same time have a strategy which gives you money on the you know premium selling